Weekly update for Friday, February 12th, and uh, this week we're going to have uh, a couple of uh, plugs for people that we think deserve plugs. From Lee Thacker, this is exactly the kind of thing that I'm trying to figure out how to highlight. This is uh, now three years in a row that Lee has accomplished what he set out to do, which was three issues of Tales from the Wedding Present. As Andy Oliver said at BrokenFrontier.com, it's that ability to walk the line and provide a product that will appeal to both wedding present and non-wedding present fans alike that is perhaps one of the book's greatest strengths. Yeah, let me add that uh, it's pretty darn clever what Lee Thacker is doing. The uh, I Dream of Jeannie cover is uh, covering an anecdote of when the band played Istanbul, Turkey. Issue 9 has a cover uh, that refers to a trip that they made to Japan and guest features uh, well we won't say who it guest features because that's probably illegal for him to be on there but uh, I think you know who this is and if you're only going to get one Tales from the Wedding Present issue this would be the one to get the origin of Wedding Present number zero with its uh, Kirby Buscema homage cover. What it's like to be in a band yeah, from the perspective of the band themselves who uh, supply Lee Thacker with all of the anecdotes documented therein. And uh, if I had to compare it to something, I'd say it's uh, very much like Harvey P. Carr's American Splendor. Uh, if you could picture that uh, an autobiographical comic instead of about uh, a schlub from Cleveland was actually about a UK indie band. All of those back issues are always in print and always available from www.scopatones.co.uk and uh, if you got any money left over after you buy those I would hardly recommend Lee Thacker's own One for Sorrow. Uh, definitely the uh, the most amazing thing that ever just walked through the front door here at Aardvark Vanaheim is 2006 Magnum Opus. Uh, we got Volume 1 of One for Sorrow. Uh, it's called Secrets. And then uh, Volume 2 of One for Sorrow, which is Wings. So check out Lee Thacker's own site for those. Introduction to Volume 1 is by Dave Sim, and I note here that I wrote that in December 2005. Next plug is for three books of photorealist autobiographical comic strips, uh, if you can wrap your head around that, uh, that originally appeared in the Boston Phoenix Independent newspaper and sent to me by my fan forever, uh, according to him, Carl Stevens. Cover of his first collection, uh, The Lodger. Uh, 
this is Carl and a bottle of beer passed out in the kitchen uh, with his dog Cookie. Been there, done that, uh, except for the cookie part. Uh, this is Carl upright on the uh, back cover, but uh, you'll notice still with a beer and uh, some mighty fine cross hatching and detailed work indeed. Amazing stuff. Uh, just to flip through. And it reads even better, I gotta tell you. Second book is Whatever by Carl Stevens. Again, just amazing slice of life stuff, even to flip through. And as with the first book, uh, it reads even better. And Carl Stevens' latest book, Failure. Uh, been there, done that as well. One of my favorite strips from Failure, uh, the one about the cat drinking from the kitchen, the kitchen faucet. The old one has vanished and now, at last, I am able to feast on her negligence. My thirst for the liquid that now sheds itself from this fountain knows no limit. I must gorge on its tasty metallic contents. For how long have I been deprived of this simple pleasure? It seems like day in and day out I beg for these things like a common dog. I should fill myself up until I'm ready to explode and then render the contents into the nearest shoe. Hey, says the cat, that's a great idea. Yeah, let me tell you, from personal experience over the last, uh, last week or two since these books came in, you're going to find that this is uh, one of those books, even if you don't have time to reread it, you're still going to pick it up and have a good time just flipping through it and remembering how the, how the different strips went. And definitely amazing photorealistic art. So thanks very much to Carl Stevens for those. And if you're interested in picking those up, uh, you go to www.indieworld.com slash altcomics and I assume look for the name Carl Stevens and you'll find these here books. Okay, that'll do it for uh, the weekly update for February 12th and God willing we'll see a bunch of you for February 19th.